First at six, we're bringing attention to the issue of crime and the impact of homelessness on Hayden, I Hayden Island. This time focusing on a camp that many are familiar with, the derelict boats in the Columbia River right off the I-5 bridge. Today, Fox 12's Kendra Ken spoke with a frustrated business owner and is live with his story tonight. Kendra. That's right, Nora, and normally we get the view from the shoreline or from even the I-5 bridge itself. Obviously, it's dark right now and you can't see much behind me, but the boats are out there in the water and that business owner did give us that upfront look. We went out on a boat with him and out there you could really get the sense of just how much debris is in and around those boats and you can tell it's going to be a lot of work to clean it all up. It's the infamous view along the Columbia River right next to the I-5 bridge. And Fox 12 got a closer look at these notorious boats that have long seen better days. It's so sad to see that white boat just under the water there with the mast tower poking up. And my concern is this other black boat next to it is no longer secured. This up close tour, courtesy of Kevin Flanagan, the owner of Schooner Creek Boat Works a boat building maintenance and repair shop located just downstream on Hayden Island. Since we're directly downriver, any spill or anything will end up in our bay, so we worry about that. And that's why Flanagan reached out to us with his frustrations, offering to take us out by boat to capture this perspective, a growing homeless camp adjacent to the broken down and stripped out boats. Just a bad situation getting worse. He says these boats have sat here for years even as the white boat sank a couple months ago, and he's afraid the black one isn't far behind. If oils get onto the boats of our customers, we are responsible to clean them before we give them back to the customer. It's another stressor on top of what Flanagan already considers a tougher environment to do business. We've had radios stolen, dinghies off the boats stolen, um, the dinghy motors stolen. So we're doing everything we can to secure our property with, you know, extra security and the like. But we're getting it from both sides, from the water and from the land. Now Flanagan says he wants answers, progress to clean up and consequences to crimes. His message, the ripple effects from all of this are costly. Our reputation's at stake too, so we really want to make sure that people feel safe bringing their boats to Schooner Creek Boat Works. And we did speak with various agencies that are in charge of managing the waterways, boats, and also the shoreline. And we got our clearest answers today from the Coast Guard. They did tell us that they are working with the EPA and the state to start the process of removing that half sink boat out there. They could not give us a timeline, however, on exactly when it will be done. Now, the spokesman that I spoke to with the Coast Guard could not give me any sort of timeline for the other boat. He did, however, say that with that white boat, all of the fuel was removed from it about a year ago, making it less of an environmental threat. It's unclear if the fuel was removed from the black boat. Reporting live tonight in Vancouver, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.